Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixiebel Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this pine chest of drawer trying to bring more character to it. We don't have a plan, we don't know what we are going to do with it. Uh, it's just a super duper go with the flow project. So let's get into it and find out. Let's, let's do it! it. I sanded the top of the piece with 80 grit first as we wanted to remove the old varnish, all scratches, so then we can apply a darker shade of varnish. I smooth out the wood with 320 grit and let's clean the piece well with white lightening. Dixie Bell Furniture Cleaner, always always clean your pieces prior to painting. I started preparing the texture mixture by combining black and also sea spray which is a texture additive. First I added a scoop and then I added more but little by little until I got a medium texture. Afterwards I did the same mixture but I used Bunker Hill Blue from, from Dixie Bell. I first made a line with the paint so I know where to apply the Bunker Hill Blue. I used a cheap brush and I started to apply the texture following that line. Then I applied the black texture on the rest of the piece. Let it dry for a few hours and uh, let's apply the second coat. I applied some caviar over the texture as there were some spots uncovered and really I just applied the paint in each direction, doesn't matter, uh, it's even better because it will create another layer of interesting texture. Then I applied some Bunker Hill Blue so I can blend it with the um, caviar using mostly horizontal motions. I blended in some pure ocean and then mermaid tail just to bring color variety and trying to copy the sky colors. They will create some nice light patches. Now I look at the piece and I said now or never. I wanted for a long long time to paint like um, a female or male figure on one of the um, pieces but I don't know just never tried before and I said let's just do it now ah I actually draw some portraits but I was holding the paper over the computer and then I was just working on the shadows which is fine too but you know, I never just tried freehand painting, just go for it. And definitely, I have never painted a um, human body before. So, this was a big challenge. Anyway, I obviously look at several YouTube tutorials on how to paint a female uh, figure. And I found this um, really helpful tutorial by Vered, a really talented lady. Uh, her channel is called Easy Paintings Vered. I will link her channel in the description box if you um, are interested. Anyway, she was working with um, black and white and I really wanted to have like a colorful painting so I chose Amethyst, Peony and Flamingo. The Amethyst is my darkest color and I will use it for shadows, uh, Peony is my mid-tone and Flamingo is the lightest one and I will use it for highlights.
I didn't know what to do with her head but then I got an um, idea to apply a transfer so first I sanded the area where I wanted to apply the transfer so I can easily do it and then I applied the flower child transfer I applied some horns and then um, I applied the flowers and rubbed them with the stick provided but at the end I sanded the horns and then just created some shadows around the flowers with caviar Afterwards, I took a brush and a small amount of paint and I started um, doing sp white sprinkles all over the blue area. They are like stars wannabe. I applied voodoo gel stain in Tobacco Road with a paint roller and I also used the water sprayer so I can move the stain uh, easily and evenly. I really love how easy it's to apply it with this roller. I sealed the piece with three layers of flat clear coat, letting each one to dry for about two hours in between. And this is the final result. Thank you so so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, learned something new or it just inspired you in any way and if it did so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time, bye!